Good afternoon. There was a man by the name of Alan who was a janitor on the night shift. And one day, a friend asked Alan, do you sleep well? And Alan said, not really. And it's not because I work the night shift. You see, when my son was little, they used to talk a lot about crib death. I was so afraid he'd stop breathing in the middle of the night. But I'd wake up every 15 minutes. I would think to myself, what if he dies? And everyone knows that I'm a horrible father. I have to live the rest of my life knowing the child died on my watch. And the friend said, well, how old is your son now? And Alan said, 22. Jesus uses three exclamation points in today's gospel and says, be watchful, be alert. And then the last word of the gospel, once again, watch. We have to be attentive and alert. This is what the season of Advent is all about. You see, Advent is a season that should be a lifetime season. We ought to be living these four weeks, in a certain sense, the entire year. Always watchful, always waiting. Because the church gives us this, this season not only to help prepare us for the coming celebration of Christ's birth, His first coming, but probably even more importantly, the church wants us prepared for His second coming. Be watchful, be awake. Jesus tells us this rather brief parable about a man who travels abroad. That's Jesus himself. He has left us at the ascension. He's traveled abroad and is now at the right hand of his Father, waiting to come again. And in this period of time of waiting, he has placed, he says, his servants in charge of his house. Who are they? You and I. He's charged his gatekeepers to be on watch as well. And they are the bishops and the pastors of the church, the gatekeepers, to be watchful of his church. Does the parable give us a time? Does it give us a date? No. As a matter of fact, it tells us to be watchful at all hours of the night, whether the Lord will come in the evening or at midnight, at cockroach or in the morning. Can he not come suddenly, Jesus says, and find him sleep? In other words, we don't know the day nor the hour. Our Lord is very explicit in the scriptures when he says, only the Father knows the day or the hour. Our job is not to figure out exactly the time that he's going to come again. Our job is simply to always be vigilant. Unfortunately, Sometimes Christians think that they can figure out the exact time of the second coming. As early as 204 AD, there was a bishop who said to some of his faithful, Come with me into the wilderness, sell all your lands and your possessions, because the Lord is about to come. Did he? No. In the year 999, on the last day of the year, a whole host of people filled St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, expecting that to be the end. Did it happen? No. As recently as 1988, there was a book out entitled, Christ Returns by 1988. 101 Reasons Why. Were any of those reasons legitimate? No. And the next year, another book came out and it was entitled 89 Reasons Why the World Will End in 1989. Did it happen? No. It's not our job as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ, to try to figure out the time, the hour. For we know not either one. He will come, as our Lord says, like a thief in the night. We must be awake. We must be watched and alert. Do you know how much Americans spend on 
home security systems every year? Just take a guess. In one year, how much do Americans spend to secure their home? If you guess $21 billion, you'd be right. That's billion with a B. That's how much money we spend as Americans trying to be vigilant over our home to make sure that no one breaks it. To make sure that we're awake and alert. How much do we spend on our soul security system? This is the question for Advent. How can we be attentive? How do we make sure that we do have the right security system installed? I would just suggest very briefly three things that we can all do during the season of Advent to make sure that we're awake and attentive. The first is by having a very consistent and regular prayer life. What a great opportunity during the season of Advent to kind of make a little commitment at the beginning of it to say, I'm going to try to do something special for Advent. I'm going to try to put something into my life, a particular prayer, but it's to make sure that every morning I, I say the morning off, or before I go to bed, to be sure I make a little examination of conscience and say the act of contrition. This Advent, I decided to to read one chapter of the Gospel every day, or to say part or all of the rosary, or Divine Mercy chapter. I've decided to take 10 minutes out of every day, find that time and stick to it in order to meditate on the Word of God, or just spend a little time in personal prayer. Personal prayer is the sure sign of an attentive soul who's watchful and awake. We can also be vigilant by simply being, being attentive to Christ in our needy neighbor. There is another way. And as we come off of Thanksgiving and approach Christmas, we spend a lot of time thinking about ourselves and spending on ourselves. What about those in most need? What about that neighbor who doesn't have what they need? It might be a phone call, a listening ear, giving to a local charity, volunteering in a soup kitchen, just simply being aware that there's a lot of people out there that have not been blessed as every one of us has been. When we are attentive to Christ calling out for us, calling for us to love Him in our need, needy name, it makes our soul security system ever more vigilant. Finally, we can be vigilant by being attentive to the state of our soul. In other words, are you and I in the state of grace? Yes. Are you and I in the state of grace? Are we aware? Unfortunately, maybe of a mortal soul. If we are, we're not in the state of grace, and we're not ready to face Christ when He comes. A great way to get into the state of grace is to increase that grace in our soul, that life of God within us, is found in the back of church, and in the two senses, left and right. They're called the confessions. And Father Rosaki, Father Tolentino, and I have committed ourselves once again during Advent to be available before every Sunday Mass in this season. There'll be at least one, if not two of us, available to hear your confession. Plus, all the time that we spend in the confession before every daily Mass, every Saturday from 3.15 to 4, we're going to have a special penance service during Advent, there are special hours right before Christmas for confession. Those doors are doors into a sure and certain soul security unit. If we're in the state of grace, we are vigilant, watchful, and are ready whenever the Lord will come. So, my brothers and sisters, my dear family, by our consistent and regular prayer work, by listening to Christ's call for love in our neighbor and be attentive to the state of our own soul and coming to the sacrament of penance, we will not only welcome Christ well on Christmas Day, we will be attentive.